Hi everybody, Fox Nomad here and today I want to help you travel smarter by showing you what a $30 a night hotel room looks like in Kars, Turkey. So I'm standing outside the Chelitov Hotel Chelitikov. here, which is an old Russian building that's been here for more than a hundred years and it's been a bunch of different things since it was created in the 1800s. Kars is a city in Turkey's northeast. During the 1800s, the city was on the front lines between the Russian and Ottoman empires changing hands several times during the century. The Cheltikov Hotel was built in 1874, first as a mansion under Russian occupation, and later used as many things, including a maternity hospital. In 2011, this protected, historic building opened to the public as the Cheltikov Hotel, and you can stay here too, with room rates as low as $30 a night. It was the city's first conservatory. It's also been a hospital and had a maternity ward in here, but these days it is now a hotel and there is a charm to this hotel. Just looking at the architecture, it looks really beautiful from the outside. And when you go inside, it also has a very different sort of, I hate to use charming, but it, 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 there's something welcoming, there's something historic about it, and it makes you feel like you're in a very special and different kind of hotel. And if that wasn't good enough, like the lounge is so comfortable, there's outdoor seating, the breakfast, let me show you the breakfast. All right, so I had a pretty good night's sleep. Uh, it was really nice to be in the bed again after all of that time on the train. Ended up getting about four hours late, so about 1 a.m. by the time I finally settled in. And I was hungry. So waking up this morning to this breakfast, which is an absolute amazing spread. You have all kinds of different fruits, you've got all kinds of different jams, cheeses, and breads. So I decided to pick a few things and show you the breakfast at the Cheltov Hotel. And of course with some tea, because day starts, continues, and ends with tea here. Sigaraberek, which is a pastry, which is dough wrapped around usually cheese in this case and then put in the oven now this is the summertime typically the low season for visiting cars most people will come here in the winter which means the hotel is not very crowded so you get all of this food and all of this space to yourself which is really nice and there's also outdoor seating as well and the weather is really nice it's gonna be pretty warm today so you can sit outside if you want if you're here in during the uh, warmer months and uh, during the train ride, this is always the best way to start the day, but it also gives such a great impression of the hotel itself, it makes your stay better. It also makes you feel like you're really getting your money's worth. And for $30 a night, this is pretty, pretty incredible. Pretty great breakfast hotel. So I did sleep pretty well. The, um, the beds weren't anything special. They're not hard or anything. They're not super luxurious, but after that train ride, it was really nice to get some rest in a bed and also to just kind of shower and, and relax and I'm really glad I came to this hotel because after such a journey it's really nice to come here to some place that's so comfortable but also that's just so relaxing and has this real nice feel with the old Russian architecture and the design and then you wake up to this breakfast which really is a nice way to start the day. So I'm going to finish this up a little bit keep eating just a little bit more so I have enough energy for the rest of the day but now I want to show you the rest of the hotel all right so let's start with the bedroom area which comes in either a single large bed or two twin beds and these two twin beds are pretty comfortable they're not the most luxurious beds that I've ever used and by hotel standards they're pretty average but they're comfortable enough and you've got this blanket here because it can get chilly at night from the windows if you leave those open it does get pretty cold here especially if you're here in the winter there is heating as well but right now it's summer so no need for that and yeah the sheets were very 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 clean and if you watched any of my other hotel reviews you know that cleanliness for me is a big deal and i like to look in all the corners i like to pull up the sheets on the bed and see what's going on underneath see what the mattress is like i like to look at all that stuff to just see how really clean things are or aren't and i can say spotless now one convenient thing about the hotel 
room is that there are outlets pretty much in all the convenient places right by the bed with this desk here with a small little drawer if you need it and some space underneath and the view from outside is also pretty nice you can see the hills above the city you can see a couple of the mosques some trees and greenery and it's a pretty quiet street there's also parking outside so if you rent a car or you're driving here then you've also got some places to park right outside of the hotel now I did say this was a pretty old hotel so locking this door and unlocking it isn't the easiest it's just a simple wooden door with a simple lock on the inside and you've really got to push it to get it closed but uh, adds to the character and the charm all right and you do have plenty of closet space as well so plenty of closet space You've got a safe also if you need it, some slippers as well, and just plenty of space. So if you're staying here for a couple of nights. There is also a mini fridge, nothing inside, but uh, you can get snacks or drinks or food from the outside, some water to drink, a electric kettle so you can make tea. There is tea and some instant coffee there as well now for those of you who followed any of my hotel tours you know that i really like having a desk in the room mostly so i can spread out my electronics open up my laptop get some work done while i'm traveling i really like a nice desk in the room and here we have a really nice wooden desk plenty of space for spreading out electronics there's an outlet right there so you can plug that in now the internet speeds at this hotel aren't the best. The connection isn't the greatest and they're not the fastest speeds. In fact, let me, uh, let me give you an instant readout. So you're getting about 14 megabits download and about seven megabits upload, although it's not the most reliable connection. So the connection isn't super solid, but it's enough you know, to check your email just to get some basics done, but you're not gonna be you know, uploading YouTube videos or anything like that. Not a lot of heavy lifting on this connection, but it is good enough to get you throughout the day. So I'd say there's one weakness of this hotel. It's probably the internet connection, but probably not gonna be using the internet a ton while you're here because the location of this hotel is really great. It's close to a lot of sites and Kars isn't that big. And most of the main sites you're gonna to wanna to go to are very walkable. And what the hotel does is they have these pictures of all of the tourist sites, all the main attractions that you'd wanna see here throughout the walls. So if there's something you miss, walking down the hall, or you're in your room and you see a picture of something like, I want to go there. Well, just look it up on your map or ask the reception who are very, very helpful. You're going to find that most things are within a short walk. All right, so we've done pretty much the bedroom. You've seen a little bit of outside. You've seen your refrigerator there. You've seen the TV and the desk space there. So the last thing to show you is the bathroom itself. Well. Hello. So the bathroom is very spacious and very comfortable. You've got a nice large sink. You've got your shampoos and your lotions and your soap. If you need any of those, any of toilet paper as well. So the bathroom comes well stocked when you're here. So yeah, the shower is pretty spacious and the bathroom is pretty nice. And overall for uh, this $30 a night room, it's uh, a really, big room and you've got these high ceilings which is nice because it is starting to get warm here as the day heats up it's about 10 a.m probably going to open that window and let some fresh air but you do have these nice tall ceilings you've got this nice room and these sort of wooden accents everywhere and you really do feel like yeah this is a hotel that has been here since 1894 and has not always been a hotel but for 30 dollars a night I gotta say, this is one of my favorite hotels pretty much anywhere. The breakfast is fantastic. The staff have been absolutely wonderful and helpful. The outdoor seating both in front of the hotel and in the little courtyard inside of the hotel are really nice. The meeting room space is also very nice. But most importantly, the rooms are very, very clean, very, very comfortable. The hotel is close to pretty much all of the sites that you want to see in cars and for $30 a night. I gotta say this is a pretty great deal. It's a pretty great hotel and I definitely recommend it. This isn't an advertisement. It's just a hotel room that I booked here during my time in cars. And like all the other hotel rooms tours that I've done on this channel, is to show you what you can get for that price in that city and it, maybe it helps you get an idea if you're coming here or maybe you're just interested to see what different unique hotels are like around the world. 
So I've still got pretty much a full day here in Kars to show you all of those sites that I said are so close by and to go see all of them myself. So if you don't want to miss any of those videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and hit the like button as well. That really helps out the channel. Thanks very much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know down in the comments section. I'll be down there answering your questions. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.